All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle. As always, we're going to be diving into the markets. And most importantly, today is a big day because the NVIDIA earnings come out in just a matter of hours. And I think this could be the catalyst for the next leg up for AI altcoins specifically. And we had a big announcement, one of the biggest gaming projects of the cycle. Their token is launching in a matter of five days. We haven't been talking about this one much, but it is the ETF of gaming, some are calling it. So we're going to go over that as well and primarily focused on the NVIDIA earnings, which when they come out could catapult AI altcoins. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And as always, guys, drop down, hit that like button and subscribe for more every single day and every week here on In The Game. We're really trying to hit that 100,000 subscriber mark and you can help us out by letting your friends know where you're getting all that juicy crypto gaming and AI alpha on YouTube as well. Shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Vulcan Forged, Ultra, Dreams Quest, Game Starter, NordVPN, Moon Tropica, and Affin. So you can check all of those out down below as well as our exchange partners. We have so many quality exchanges that we work with here on In The Game from Bybit, Maxi, BitGit, and two new incumbents. We have Blowfin, which is a non-KYC exchange. So if you're in the US, you need somewhere to trade, you can link down below in the description for Blowfin, as well as AVO, which is a leverage options futures sort of trading site, but it is a decentralized exchange. So you can check all of those out down below in the link in the description. So let's dive into the market quickly. ETH is up 26% this week off the rumors of an ETH ETF approval. So if we get that, I could definitely see ETH continuing a little bit of a run as well as AI and gaming and just altcoins underneath Ethereum seeing a bid because of the fact that, you know, liquidity could be taking some profits on Ethereum. But at that point, I could see money trickling down into alts, which is solid. And right now we are sitting at about 70k on bitcoin so some pretty good action across the market if we're looking across the board here uh, on the weekly we have stuff like cap games brett is recovering like crazy uh, we have senate up 43 percent this week super bullish on that we have carrot up 37 percent crown bouncing back at 33 percent we have galazzo this is one that i mentioned last week uh, as far as like a meme coin narrative it's up 33 percent over the weekly time frame so Lots of good stuff going on in the market and a lot of key headlines really going on right now. We have Trump saying that he's going to build a Bitcoin and a crypto army for the presidential election in order to defeat Joe Biden. Obviously, as a crypto native, I think that that's fantastic, right? We want pro crypto here. And then Elio tweets that Biden is bending the knee apparently with some bill that he wouldn't veto or something like that. Um, so the USA is now in the center of the crypto world. Buckle up, kiddos. And then Easy tweets, you know what happens next. The US eases their stranglehold on crypto and the negative laws towards it. It becomes a major industry in the US and the US becomes a global hub for crypto. Crypto becomes more accessible and more usable across day-to-day -day transactions higher. So I agree all around. I think the more that we accept it and the more that it's pushed, I mean, more mainstream narratives are going to come out of it. We had the Bitcoin ETF. We have the ETH ETF on the way. So I'm overall very bullish on everything that's going on across the market. And Let's get into the main topic of the show. We're going to get into this one quickly as NVIDIA earnings come out today. When you're watching this video, it's probably within an hour or two from the NVIDIA earnings coming out. So I want to preface, I think this is going to really pump the AI token market. I mean, last time NVIDIA pumped 16% whenever their earnings came out and they were, they were good, obviously. Uh, but some of these AI altcoins pumped 30, 50, 70% in a matter of a day. So I think the place you can position yourself today and we've been loading up on this move. Like we've been telling you the AI altcoins that I really like leading into NVIDIA earnings. And NVIDIA is expected to report $24.5 billion in revenue for Q1 2024. To put that in perspective, that's our 241% year over year revenue growth for the third largest company in the world. I mean, that's absolutely insane. And just five years ago, 
their Q1 revenue was 2.2 billion, marking a 1,000% increase in revenue over the last five years. So you can see why NVIDIA causes this shockwave in the AI markets. Crypto God John says the calm before the madness begins. We have NVIDIA earnings and we have the ETH ETF news. So the next 24 hours is going to be epic. What are some of the altcoins I think you can position yourself in now for that AI run? Well, Number one, I've been telling you guys, my favorite AI play right now is GPU. The synergies, the kind of tandem, hand-in-hand uh, -hand type of things with the GPU lending, and NVIDIA is very heavy in GPU, the branding here. And if you've been positioning yourself in this, um, it is still down for the month, but on the weekly, this has had a nice 22% bounce back to $1.50. And when you look like uh, Vitalik had tweeted something about some AI and, and they came back with a pretty, uh, pretty solid, uh, reasoning why, you know, AI is, is a necessary, uh, narrative across crypto and across hardware saying that node AI ensures that hardware remains viable and powerful. Uh, all the stuff you want to hear from an AI project that's actually doing the right things. And then there's this graph here comparing to render, uh, and AKT and OPSEC, and we see GPU checking all the boxes here. So I'm very bullish on GPU when it comes to the AI sector. And I have to say, this is by far my number one AI play in this current narrative of NVIDIA, all that good stuff. So GPU is absolutely at the top of the list. I like desync. Um, I think Ocean is a good play still. I have an Ocean bag from the bear market. I think Render, if you're in the game of leverage trading. I think render is going to be a great one to play during this narrative as well. Uh, my number two would be OPSEC. So OPSEC has a lot to do with AI. It has a lot to do with GPU. It has a lot to do with computing. It has a lot to do with security. Everything that OPSEC is doing, the narrative falls right in line for me. And at a $100 million market cap, I just don't see how stuff like GPU, stuff like OPSEC and Third for me would be Blender. Um, Blender at a 70 million market cap. I think that this one's got so much potential um, to have a rocket ship if, if we get a good NVIDIA earnings and the next time that AI gets really hot in the narrative, which I really, I mean, it could be today with the um, with the AI news and, and the earnings coming out of NVIDIA. So uh, for me, I think that you can position yourself across Render, across Ocean, across Tau, GPU, Blender, OPSEC, Hash AI, Desync, um, you know, Prime, Ajax, whatever your choice is. I think any of these on this list are going to be very strong bets across the NVIDIA earnings. And for me, it's GPU, OPSEC, Blender, and then I have my bags of Render. I have my bags of Ocean. I like Desync. Desync's been running very nicely recently. Um, as well as stuff like low caps, like YAI and BAI. Those would be the main AI altcoins I'm currently lining up for the NVIDIA narrative. And honestly, if NVIDIA reports bullish earnings here, NVIDIA's stock is probably going to see a nice move upwards, but these altcoins are going to see a 30, 40, 50% gain over 24 hours. So I think positioning yourself into crypto AI coins right now is going to set you up for a leveraged bet on the NVIDIA earnings. So I hope you guys have been positioning your AI bags accordingly. And of course, last video, I said, I think gaming is going to heat up again. We see this tweet here uh, that, you know, Becker still thinks that it's the most surefire bet in crypto. And look, I think from a mainstream adoption perspective, narrative if like off the grid the game goes mainstream viral etc sure it is a mainstream mass adoption play but right now it's just not where the attention is however we just had nyan heroes go live little bit of fud when they launched but it was a third party provider doing the airdrops for them so people were waiting on their airdrops everything's been resolved and honestly it's trading quite strongly um, considering the amount of money that could have potentially sold off whenever they got those airdrops. So I'm still super bullish on Nyan Heroes. We obviously have the elephant in the room off the grid, Gunzilla, when they go live. I think the gaming narrative is really going to kick off. But we have a new player in the arena, and that is Mon Protocol. So if you guys don't know, we have Pixelmon's token going live here this Monday, the 27th. 
Uh, claims start at 9.30 UTC, listing at 10. Over 180,000 wallets eligible to claim Mon at the token uh, generation event. So this is going to be massive. Yes, we're talking about the same Pixelmon that released the Kevin, the pixelized turtle looking figure who went viral all over social media and was revol resol uh, uh, revived we had julio on during the depths of the bear they acquired pixelmon have turned this thing around pixelmon nyan heroes off the grid this could be the trio that we need going live to really kickstart that gaming narrative uh so some of the things that i'm looking at are, it's it's the same tokens for the most part um obviously D disclosure i am an investor in nyan i am an investor in mon i am an investor in off the grid so all three of those i already have a vested interest into those tokens but as far as stuff that's live currently if you want exposure to off the grid i think avalanche and superverse because superverse is partnered up with off the grid so those would be the two plays there if you want some exposure uh, to something like a Pixelmon, I would potentially look the way of Immutable X as they are building with Immutable. If you're looking for some exposure to Nyan Heroes, I think Solana. Uh, and then I'm also looking at other ecosystems like Beam. I think Ronin has to be in your portfolio at this point in the cycle at a 1 billion market cap. This is the biggest gaming blockchain. So as far as blockchains go, I'm focused in on stuff like IMX, Ronin, I'm looking at AVAX, I'm looking at Solana, I'm looking at Super, I'm looking at Beam. And then obviously one of the big plays I've been mentioning recently in Zentry. Uh, I love Zentry, the gaming multi-layer platform. This one I think has so much potential this cycle. So for this one, I'm going to keep it pretty simple with the infrastructures. I think if you're placing bets into quality infrastructure at the top half of your portfolio, you are absolutely going to make it this cycle in gaming as the money rotates around when you're in IMX, Roan, Beam, Super, Zentry, you have AVAX, you have Solana. I think that's a tandem of tokens that you really cannot go wrong with. And then if you're going to trickle down into some lower market caps, I love Prime. You guys know I think Prime's going to go to $100 this cycle. I still think Alluvium has some bullish narratives. Seedify, Miria, Mavia, Crown, Cytus. You know, these are the ones I am the most bullish on. And then if we're going to trickle into low market cap stuff, I'm looking at Moon Tropica. I'm looking at Katana Inu, Altura, as well as stuff like Wag Me Games, Domi Online, Decimated, etc. So those are the ones across the board, across different market cap levels that I am specifically looking at. Another one, Wilder World, they're giving away 50K in prizes at their uh, event over in Austin, Texas next week. I will actually be out there. So if you're going to be there, would be happy to link up with you if you're out in Austin, Texas. And then tomorrow, we also have another big gaming TGE coming across. We have Love Monster, the official Love TGE. I was on Spaces with them this morning. Absolutely amazing. Amazing backing, amazing partners, amazing team, and amazing game. So I'm super excited about this one as well. And it just goes to say, like, those who have been stacking the quality gaming tokens, you will be rewarded. But delayed gratification is the name of the game right now. And we don't know when gaming is going to get hot. I know for a fact, Godzilla is the one that's going to send us to the next level of crypto gaming, like the next leg up, so to speak. But when you look across the board, I think the Mon TGE could also do the exact same thing. I mean, Pixelmon is going to bring so much liquidity into the market. And this is the gaming ETF. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, partnership list of what they're working with and the amount of projects they are giving holders exposure to, but it is pretty expansive. Here it is. Uh, 50 plus partners that you're going to have exposure to just by yeah look have committed a portion of their token to be distributed to mon stakers so this right here could be the catalyst across the board and i'm very very cozy in my bags across ai and gaming and let's get into a little bit of sponsor talk really quick and then we'll wrap it up uh game starter they're coming out with their game chain nodes i'm super bullish on game starter they're doing a little bit of like a revamp not really a rebrand but a revamp and these 20 communities are launching on game social and bringing token whitelist and asset rewards on their game social and on the game chain nodes you're actually going to get exposure to these projects ido's that game chain does part of their revenue the game token it's going to be a really 
cool system with their nodes. So really bullish on what Game Starter is doing with their nodes. And then last but certainly not least, Affin. Their refer and earn program is back. This is pretty cool. So third, uh, 30 million bubble, which is one of the hottest airdrop projects coming across right now is to be airdropped to fin holders and it's time to share with your friends for every friend you refer you'll earn five percent of whatever they pledge the dollar amount and then uh your friend will also receive 1000 fin tokens so a pretty cool initiative here if you want to get involved head over to the fin official page and you can check that out but guys obviously like right now i'm stacking up the quality I'm not diverting my attention. I'm in AI. I'm in gaming. I got some meme plays. I got some RWA plays, but that's about it. And I'm patient. I, I'm I'm cool with the delayed gratification and with successes come into the market. We have nine heroes, a little bit of FUD, but didn't really affect it too much. I think that they're going to have a fine path forward. We have Mon coming to market and then Gunzilla. I firmly see gaming having a big run this summer, and we are positioned nicely here on In the Game to take advantage of that. So guys, uh, and obviously in the AI run, let's see what NVIDIA earnings come in at because these can send our AI altcoin bags to Valhalla, and then hopefully that GameFi narrative follows, and it's going to be a good start to the summer for the In the Game fam. But guys, like the video, subscribe down below for more alpha here every single week and every day on the In the Game channel. We're really pushing for that 100K, so help us out down below, and I'll see you all on the next one. As always, play well, my friends.